you guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a Maui sunset tutorial that is dedicated to Shay for sending me this palette. Everything I'm using is going to be listed down below and I am going to be going in with this copper shade. I tried to use another shade and it didn't show up um, just because of the concealer I used and I'm just going to add a little bit of depth into my crease and um, yeah, so I'm going to take the neon orange in this palette and I just really wanted to have a lot of fun with this tutorial. So um, I'm going to take the neon color or the neon orange color in this palette that is completely matte and this palette is such good quality. I'm going to take it on that same fluffy brush that I just cleaned off and I'm going to work it into my crease. And I'm going a little bit slower than normal because I was afraid that it was going to be very pigmented so I tapped it off a lot. and. Um, then I was going in slow. But I'm going back and forth, just blending and blending so that the colors become very seamless. And I just went back in and picked up just a little bit more product so that I can get it to the intensity that I want. I wanted to create a very warm eye look with this palette today. Um, and I still want to work with it. So let me know your requests down below in the comments. Um, I do show you the palette quite often throughout the tutorial so you can see kind of the colors that we have to work with. I'm going to go in with this red and it is a matte red shade and this is a awesome an awesome matte red shade um, it's so pigmented um, so you very you do really need to be careful because if you use a lot of red eyeshadow um, in the wrong ways on your eye you can start to look sick and like you're tired um, so you do need to be careful when going in with reds but you know um, I'm just taking it on a denser brush and using it and packing it on that outer corner and I'm kind of creating a shape to um, elongate my eye a little bit. So I'm going in with that second color and this is a matte neon fuchsia and I'm going in a little bit closer in on the lid um, to help that red blend out so that I'm not going to have red all over my lid. So I'm going to take that fuchsia and that fuchsia is a little bit more berry purpley undertones which is great um, for what I'm trying to do here so I just did that a little tiny bit and I really did pack that on and I'm gonna go in with the next shade this is again a matte neon and this is a lighter pink that does still have a blue flash to it but it's matte um, so I'm just going to go in and put that all over my lid um, it's really just helping out the pink to blend and the orange to blend and to just make this look like a really beautiful sunset and it's really reminded me of when I was in Hawaii so I am going back in <clears throat> excuse me and I just blended a little bit and now I'm gonna pick up the, the neon yellow and this is just gonna help that yellow or that orange intensify a little bit and I'm just focusing this on the inner part of the crease and on my lid. You can get as messy as you want because I believe in being messy and having fun because I do always go back in and clean it up. I don't work on my left eye as much because I wasn't getting it to cooperate so I just thought it would be easier to do this. I'm going to go in with the peach shimmer shade in here and I'm going to take it wet and I'm applying this to my inner corner and gradually feathering it out to the outer part of my lid. Um, I do take it a little bit farther than I wanted and I do go back in and blend it with that fuchsia pink. This basically does cover up that light pink but I wanted to be able to make sure that that um, fuchsia was going to get blended out so I needed a lighter color to go in with. And I just go back and forth a few times just to get the color and the blending the way I wanted it to be. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I'm going to take my fluffy brush with nothing on it. I didn't pick up any color and I'm just going back and forth to help blend the edge of the shimmery shade. Since we did take it wet, it could become a little bit harsh, so you do need to be careful of that. And now I'm going to clean up my eye and blend out the outer edges. So I'm just taking a light matte pink a light matte pink shade which matches my skin tone really really well this is actually by Smashbox in like the perfect eyes hazel or something I don't really know um, but I use it a lot and I'm just gonna blend uh, out the edges and it's gonna clean up and look a lot better than it did before so I'm gonna work on that eye and I'll be right back okay so got the other eye as much as I could the other eye was not cooperating very much um, and I like how I created an almond shape on the eye like I like to do normally with any look that I do so um, yeah, so now we're going to move on to doing eyeliner and all that jazz. So I'm going to do my tight line off camera because um, I get out of the screen. And now I'm going to take my Jordana Fabuliner um, felt tip liner. I kind of made a mistake here and I knew I did and I said I was going to fix it and I never ended up fixing it. So I left it this way, but whatever. 
it's not that big of a deal. It just shows that you don't have to be perfect all the time and you're not always going to have a perfect wing liner every day. Um, so I just did that and I'm doing my waterline now and um, smudging it onto the lower lash line with that same pencil. Uh, eyeliner pencil from Milani and I'm going to take a tiny tiny brush I think of it as a pencil brush but it's a lot smaller than a typical pencil brush and I'm picking up right now that coppery shade that we first went into the crease with and I'm just going to smudge out the black with that if you happen to get any fallout just take a clean fluffy brush or whatever you use with the matte pink shade and just blend it away you want to just swipe it you don't want to like sweep it across and move the product around you just want to swipe it quickly across so that it will move the fallout I'm going to go ahead and go in and um, curl my lashes with my tweezer man eyelash curler and I am going to take a couple of different mascaras today that I'm absolutely in love with both of them so this one I'm taking here is by elf and this is their volumizing mascara curl volumizing I don't really know like I said everything is going to be listed down below that I used um, in the order that I use them as well and I did get a little mess up right there but you want to wait for your mascara to dry if you ever get it on your face before removing it because otherwise it's just going to smudge black everywhere so um, then I went in with the uh, Josie Marin black oil mascara to add more volume and stuff but I don't think I showed that so I'm showing you one lip option that's a little bit orangey and now I'm going to take it off and show you a more wearable one and for the wearable one it's my Jordana lip color what is it matte modern matte there's the palette by the way so if you have any suggestions I'm really wanting to work with the mint shade I point to right there um, but on my lips right now is the Jordana Modern Matte Matte Blush Lipstick, which is so amazing. I think they're $1.50 at, the, at Walgreens. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much, Shay, for sending out this palette to me. It was so, so sweet. If you guys haven't seen my fan mail opening, I'm going to link it down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe.